before this season taking on the ultimate challenge of Real Madrid. Terry Venables joined John Motson on a visit to Toshak in what's regarded as Europe's footballing capital. And as I say, look, if you're going to sacrifice a little bit here in the league and play in a way, because you can win the league here playing as you do, but you never win the European Cup. Mm. Now, playing as, as I want you to play, you can win the league here as well, and maybe you can win the European Cup as well. It won't happen be from day to night, you know. You've got to be solid at the back. Two men who know firsthand the peculiar demands of running the two biggest teams in Spain, maybe in the world even. John Toshak, two months in charge at Real Madrid, discovering headaches along with expectations. Terry Venables, three years at Barcelona, watching Toshak as the Welshman took his Spanish league leaders to nearby Rio Vallecano for a league match last Sunday. But Toshak's president, the autocratic Ramon Mendoza, threatened to upstage both of them. In Spain, El Presidente is a dominating and potentially dangerous figure, making the life of the coach a tense and insecure one. Toshak wasn't looking forward to this game. Vallecano are the poor relations in Madrid, but they have a lively striker in Hugo Maradona, younger brother of the great Diego. Real Madrid's goal machine, Hugo Sanchez, and his teammates have nothing to gain, everything to lose. The atmosphere is much more family orientated than in England, but this is a match Toshak's men have to win to consolidate their position at the top. The tight little stadium is to the Bernabeu what Southampton's Dell would be to Wembley. And if Real Madrid don't perform, they could go the same way as Liverpool went that same weekend. Venables, a face in the crowd, appreciates more than most what an early goal by Hugo Sanchez means to Real Madrid. The somersault and the congratulations mask the fact that they're without Butragueño and when they also lose Sanchez, Toshak knows that one goal will not be enough. He's never able to sit comfortably, or indeed sit at all. It's a relief when centre-back Iero strikes the second goal from a free kick and puts daylight between the aristocrats and the artisans. Real Madrid's expensive players are still adjusting to Toshak's tactics. Some of them resent his ideas, but he's concerned about the fallibility in defence that Real sometimes show in matches like this as in the second half, when Maradona opened them up. That goal meant an anxious last few minutes for Real Madrid, and Toshak was openly critical of his team as he coped with the pressing microphones in fluent Spanish. He knows that in Spain they can twist your words and destroy your team. It's a scene familiar to Venables, spotted by Toshak as the interviews kept on coming. Sí, estoy aquí hablando con Terry ahora. Me voy a enseñar mis cosas, Terry. Es campeón de liga con Barcelona. Hay, poco, hay pocos que pueden decir esto. ¿Quién? Yo a él no. Él, él a mí sí. But El Tell is a figure whose views are still also sought by excited Spanish reporters. Gracias, que disfrutes, que siga disfrutando de la capital de España. Ahí están las palabras de Terry Benavol. The departure of the Real Madrid team bus was accompanied by near hysterical scenes of hero worship in the street. But amid the chaos, Toshak stayed calm, a pensive, almost lonely figure. The fuss going on around him is commonplace. The sirens signalling that wherever Real go, the circus moves along with them. It's an everyday reminder of their monumental reputation. Their glittering past best illustrated by their trophy room back at the Bernabeu, 